Tomorrow marks 50 years since the lunar landing. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first humans to step foot on the moon. Most people can remember exactly where they were watching it all unfold. And today, we're looking into the future by talking to Carl Jones. Thank you for joining us today, Carl. So, no problem. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Now, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, but what can we expect from NASA moving forward? Uh, from NASA, the, the biggest things that are on the horizon are the, the launch of Americans from U.S. soil for the first time since the uh, since shuttle's been retired via uh, the Boeing CST-100. And then after that, we're, you know, we, we set our sights on going to Mars, but the first stop is going to be Moon. And so we have the Artemis program and the Gateway program that are going to basically set the way for that for us to go to Mars later on. So the Gateway program is basically going to be a, a, a launch point, you know, the International Space Station, but not as big. And um, it's going to be basically a, a kind of a launch point. So we'll launch spacecraft from here like we normally do. They'll go to the Gateway and then they'll take lunar landers from the Gateway down to the surface of the Moon. And then later on, once we actually start exploring Mars, it'll be basically kind of an intergalactic you know, gas station of sorts uh, as a stopping point before they go further. You know, 50 years ago, our biggest goal was to just get to the moon and then bring them back home safely. So now we're trying to actually go to the moon and establish a sustainable environment there, get a base going and then test a lot of technology that we that we currently don't understand uh, in order to go to Mars uh, or to go to Mars for a long duration space travel. Right now, we don't understand how the human body reacts or how we could, um, how astronauts would do in a long duration mission. So a lot of those things we can use on, on the moon first before we start doing that and start sending humans that, that far away. If they had volunteers to go to Mars, would you be one of them? Yes, absolutely. I've always wanted to go to Mars. Uh, honestly, that, is, that has been a lifelong dream of mine. I watch all kinds of movies about it. Obviously, it, you know, The Martian, this has been a dream to work here, so I would 100% go to Mars. Depending on where the Earth and Mars are in relation to each other, it can take anywhere from about six months to, to two years. Well, I can't wait to watch all those unfold next five years. Fingers crossed to be there and see the launches. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Carl. Of course, thank you.